Husbandos and waifus, today is a very sad day. Today is the final episode of Ranking of Kings. I believe it's just the end of season one. Hopefully there's going to be a season two, but at least from my knowledge, this is the end. I don't know if the, the manga is continuing or the light novel or whatever written materials out, but all I know is that I'm just, I'm sad, man. This anime has become like one of my favorites of all time. Uh, just off of 23 episodes, it's gonna be the 23rd episode, but it was definitely a fun ride. I love this anime so much so anyways let's hop into this last episode of ranking of kings baby hey quit staring at my dead channel because about 70 percent of you guys are not subscribed and if you want me to survive this month i think you should do so she has committed crimes and i'm into that type of stuff i'm a bad boy as well Dude, I love how, like, the big, the big five, guys. It's the big five, not the big four, okay? The big five, because Hokuro, right? Their personalities, well, I think just Oppies is a little bit different. Uh, of course, I think Domas had such a big evolution of character. But it's weird to see them act a, a different way than what we usually see. <laughs> so much love going around. Dude, why does boss remind me of Jesus? Time to conclude. He's gonna talk to his brother? No, his mom first. I like that Dida's acting more like a king now. He is now truly acting like a king. Oh. Oh, shit! Let's go! Oh, shit, dude. Oh, just <laughs> to be honest, though, Moji, Moji fucking did the work, bro. Aw, oh, dude. Oh, I feel it, dude. I fucking feel it. <laughs> she, he did the, 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 the Kakashi. Is that what Kakashi does? She's like, wow, this oil spill is wonderful. <laughs> Hell yeah, oil spill, thumbs up. She's like, why, why do I love oil so much? <laughs> Raise them gas prices, Biden. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's gonna throw them off because they be talking shit, thinking that he doesn't understand, but he understands. <laughs> oh, even the snake is crying, dude. I, I wanna cry too. Yeah! My king, see, I don't simp no one, but I simp King Boji as my king. <laughs> Hiding? <laughs> He's gonna dodge. <laughs> And there he sees his beautiful kingdom. God damn! How high did they do him? Yes, best oil spill. I hope, I hope my boy Kage finds himself a nice oil spill. Gotta make sure she ain't Arco. We gotta give, we gotta give my boy Kage some of that fine quality Chevron shell. He's like, now we fuck. No, where is he going? Where is he going? Yes, he does! He needs you! No! Don't go, Kage! Oh! <laughs> no, no, no! <sighs> what? Where is he going? Just a long line of people. Aww! Oh, no! <laughs> Just like my friend's IRL. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. This page, bro. He's gonna put on the actual crown. He's gonna be a great king to full, to make Kage proud. You know, that's how he's truly feeling. He feels like he has to just do this for Kage as well. Oh no. King Bo! Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, shit! Doing all that Nezuko type of shit! What is doing that gonna do? Well, he's gonna look for his head? No, everyone's like, oh, yeah, King Boji, when all of his other, when they were just fucking talking shit the whole time! Aw, he still waits for his fucking friend! Oh, <laughs> I feel so bad! Yeah, so I... I I'm sure Boji feels weird considering that these are people I used to talk behind his back when Kage was someone that was always by his side. It's something that will always linger with him. Man, the hardest part about being king. 
Damn, she has to also be a mother too. She has to be mother and also queen technically, right? She's not his queen, but you know, she is technically still the queen, right? She has to play that role of being a mother as well as someone to help guide the new king, which is tough, you know? It's tough to kind of have that same role. Is that his new home? Wow. He, he has that newfound spirit because of Boji. Oh, someone destroyed his house. Dude, I just need him to go back to Boji. What the heck? Boji? That's not Boji. It was a dream. Aww. Boji? Is that really Boji? Oh, he went on an adventure to find him. Oh, he went to go find him. Oh no, man! Oh no! Oh! Oh, it's better than being deserted, isn't it? I'm not crying, you're crying! I'm not crying, you're crying! Yeah, I feel like they definitely need each other. They definitely need each other. They like balance each other out in a way. And it's good. It's good, they need each other. Oh man. You really wish to throw back to Dida? <laughs> he just wants to go on an adventure. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, even better. Oh, oh, that's my boy. That's my boy. Hold on, this is thumbnail, guys. Sorry, I, I need thumbnail. Oh, this episode's hurting me too much. Let's go. This anime has become very important to me in various ways and so weird. There are anime where I'm like, yo, this anime is fucking dope. This anime is great. Like Fruit Basket enjoyed the hell out of it. Made me emotional at times too. But I haven't felt this way about an anime since One Piece. <laughs> like when I was watching One Piece, it was at a time when I was, you know, I was going through it. I was trying to figure out who my real friends were and I was alone. It's, it's so weird that an anime like this came to me. I mean, it may not have always gotten like top tier views all the time, but it's definitely the anime that I've, I have, it made me feel feelings that I've never felt before emotionally, you know? Especially based off of like a kid who, you know, obviously he has some uh, life challenges ahead of him, but despite those life challenges, it never brought him down. And if anything, it made him stronger than everyone else. You know, because he's able to go through his own physical limitations, go surpass that, even had his own father take away his own strength from him. He had everything taken from him and he still rose to the top. And even when he was finally king, he decided, you know what? This is not for me. Uh, he chose his friendship over his kingdom. He wanted to create his own with his friend, you know, and adventure around. So this anime means a lot to me. I want to buy every piece of Osama ranking merchandise ever to exist to man. Just this feeling though that there's going to be another season because the Oaken situation is not over yet. I just feel like the Oaken situation is going to continue. Boji and Kage going on an adventure would be nice as well. But it, al it this almost feels like this is a prequel, <laughs> you know, to a, a bigger grand adventure. But if the anime was to end like right here, then it ended perfectly. But if it decides to continue, then I'm all for it. I can't believe it's all ogre, guys. And this anime is great. Oh, we even still have to see Daisha uh, becoming the number one rank. Like, what, what's going to happen after that? There's still a lot of questions that probably need to be answered. But like I said, if the anime ends here, then, you know, that's fine. But I feel like there, there's definitely going to be more seasons to come of Ranking of Kings. And I hope there is because this, this was, at first, the most underrated series. And then people just started talking about it. My friends started watching watching it and loving it and just realizing yo this is a fucking phenomenal anime which it is i love this anime so much i recommend it so much i'm just in my feelings right now i love this anime man you know, you